Here's another video about making custom metahumans. This time I used three photographs and made this custom metahuman using Face Builder for Blender. And this time I made manual changes to the mesh, which you'll see. And that's why the final metahuman doesn't quite match the photograph, but I think it actually looks better than the photograph. All right, so let's go through the process. And I took these three photographs into Blender and made a 3D head mesh using the Face Builder add-on. And that created a head mesh with the proper metahuman UVs for the texture. Then I exported multiple textures from the Face Builder add-on and did a fair bit of Photoshop to end up with a texture, which I use later on in the process. And then I exported that as an FBX of the entire head. Then I made a new project with Unreal 5.4 and I used 5.4 just so I had the option of exporting the grooms, etc. Uh, because the Groom export plugin is only available for 5.4. So then I imported the head mesh into Unreal and reconnected the correct texture. Then I made sure the MetaHuman plugin was enabled and restarted. And then I created a MetaHuman ID and chose my static mesh. And then I changed the camera view to 25 made it unlit and then clicked promote frame checked all the markers then entered a special console command then clicked metahuman identity solve and once that was finished i saved and closed the editor then I made a new folder called Conformed Mesh and opened it up and made a new MetaHuman ID called Carry Conformed Mesh. Then I right clicked and found the OBJ file that had been created by that special console command inside my Unreal Project folder inside Saved. Then I imported that. And then I opened up the new MetaHuman identity, went to the asset menu, configured components from Conformed and chose my Conformed Mesh. And then I could just click on the body and choose a body type. Mesh to MetaHuman, Auto Rig MetaHuman Identity, Full. And once that was finished, I just said OK and then closed that editor window. Then in the MetaHuman Creator website, I opened up the newly created Carry Conform character and I went to Skin, Assign and chose a skin color. And then I chose a skin texture. Then I went through and just customized various elements of my MetaHuman to match my photograph. An important thing I did was click on custom mesh and then enable editing, which let me make even more changes. And at this point, I was just looking for a nice looking MetaHuman. I wasn't particularly interested in making it exactly the photograph. Then once I was happy with it, I logged out of MetaHuman Creator and back in my Unreal project, I went into Bridge and downloaded the highest quality of the MetaHuman and added it to my project. Then dragged it into the scene and enabled all the settings and restarted. Then I moved the light around so I could preview it properly. Then I edited the blueprint for my MetaHuman and clicked on face, then went to the main face material, which I opened up. And then under base color, these base colors are what's actually making the skin right now. So then what I did was I changed the skin to the custom skin that I made in Face Builder, which of course was made with MetaHuman UVs, so it worked fine. And as you can see, the big problem is, of course, that the original photograph that I used was quite green comparatively to the normal pink metahuman skin. Then I added the static mesh that I exported from Face Builder and scaled it down just so I could do a side by side to compare the 3D mesh that I made with Face Builder to the metahuman that I've made. Now, obviously the eyes are quite different and the jaw is different, but that's because I made custom changes inside of metahuman creator website using the editing tools, but I'm quite pleased with this. 
obviously I needed to do some Photoshop painting to remove the eyes and make the color correct. So I went ahead and did that in Photoshop and just used a previous MetaHuman texture that I'd made from scratch, painted from scratch, that was 100% my own work as a reference to fix the color while also making sure the eyebrows maintained their neutral color and didn't get the red color change that I was adding to the rest of the image applied to them. And then I went through and manually painted out the eyes and the eyelashes. And then I saved that texture and applied it to my MetaHuman inside of Unreal. Then I made a quick scene with some rect lights and added some animation to the face to show off what it looks like. All right, I hope that video was useful for somebody out there. Please comment below and like the video if you liked it. Please be nice in the comments. Uh, a lot of people just like to put rude things in for no reason. I don't really understand. Uh, anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching.